What we're going to do next is watch a short film. Around identity and culture, coexistence and understanding difference. Very, very accurate and it really portrayed of what society is like today. The film highlighted an important issue which was prejudice today. Even people like politics and people around the world should watch it, all of that, yeah. Grown-ups fight in real life because of small things. Something small turns into something big, so it escalates. It presented some of the issues that our students kind of face every day in terms of conflict and relationships, but in a really accessible way. By using the basic colours of orange and purple, you can't tell what race, colour or any other comparison to the real world they are. All the children immediately engaged with the film. The fact that it was quite open-ended meant that there were many different opinions that came from the children. You could sort of see a lot of their faces, like, oh my God, what's going to happen? Um, I think that really, really helps kind of gear what happens with the rest of the workshop. Normally young people don't get a voice. There's not really a way for them to say what they think. It made me feel like sad because there's two different communities and like they're angry at each other and they have like a divide but they don't really know why. There was a lot of hate. There was either one side or the other and I guess that portrays real life in a way. The story in this film represents reality. Agree, disagree, or you're not very sure. The older generation kind of are close minded. They have prejudice, but they don't really understand why. The hate's been passed down, but they don't have a real reason why they Adults like Adults' negative mindsets rub off on the kids. People are influenced by their parents. Prejudice is more of ignorance, more than inheritance. The media plays a big part in that. What kind of things can influence your identity? My identity is being English and yeah. also being Christian. My community. Being a feminist. They were able to distance themselves from a lot of the complications of the subject matter through the animation. I think it was a really great device for them. Really wanted the kids to leave today with a different idea about the other people in their class, like a kind of a different view of some of their peers. Young people's words matter. Parents should listen to what the child has to say. You should embrace the differences and you shouldn't like let it stop you from being friends with someone. But I'm friends with Shakira because of her personality. I'm not friends with her because like she's wearing a hijab or like she's different skin colour to mine.